Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Chef A-Bomb. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a little bit of fresh yeast. So say you're getting low or you're just tired of going to the grocery store and buying more, uh, you're now going to know how to make it. So let's get into it. All right, so what you're going to need is 50 grams of fresh yeast. As you see, I've got here, I got 50 grams of uh, water, just regular room temperature water is fine. And then we get 110 grams of flour. So here we go. Let's break this up a little bit. Just like so. I'm gonna add our water. And then what we're gonna do here is make sure that we just melt all the yeast into the water. We don't want any clumps left over. Now this is a really good uh, thing to be able to do because, you know, yeast is a great tool to have. I make bread all the time, so I'm always needing yeast. Alright, looking like they're almost... Dissolved all the way, just like that, as you can see. And let's go ahead and add our flour. Now, yeah, we're pretty much going to get this to look like Play-Doh. We're going to incorporate all that flour. I'm going to use my hands here in a minute. And uh, once it's all compressed and one with itself, we're going to cover it up and put it in the fridge for 24 hours. And then our yeast will be just like that yeast I started with. So right now I'm just incorporating everything in the bowl. Which is really simple guys, as you see, I just used a little bit of water, some old or leftover yeast towards the bottom of what I had, and some flour. And the key thing with this too is to really work it. You really want to make sure you get everything in there first off, but then you really want to just work the dough back and forth. Like so, until we start to get that fresh yeast like consistency. Now, you can repeat this process again tomorrow if you wanted to, because this will be just as powerful tomorrow as it was earlier as a smaller piece, the 50 grams. There we go. You can see, as it's not wanting to pull apart now, now we're getting right to, right to where we want to be. And I'm just going to go back in this bowl, get anything I left behind, like so. We're just going to keep squeezing it. You probably want to do this for at least a few minutes. Something like that, I guess. Or until you start to feel that texture that you're looking for. A little bit of a workout. Most of cooking is, though. Alright. You can see how it's looking now here. I'll give you a good look. See how it's not wanting to pull apart? That's when you really got it right where you want it. Make sure you have nothing that looks like flour on it. And just almost like a little Play Doh piece, you know? Now, once this is done, what we're going to do is cover it, and we're going to cover it airtight too. We're going to put the plastic wrap right to it, and we're going to leave it in the fridge for 24 hours, and then it will be ready to go. And you pretty much not only doubled, but you tripled, tripled or something, I think about tripled what you had, maybe even more. 
Well, you have three times as much. This was a quarter. It was a quarter of one, and now you get the whole thing. That's good. We're just going to take this just like so. Put it in our bowl. Get a better look at it here. Looks like a little Play Doh piece. All nicely incorporated. Okay. So we're going to add a little plastic wrap. Like so. That one's big enough. There we go. Just like that. That'll work, guys. Put it in the fridge 24 hours. You got yourself a little more yeast. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that quick little video of how to make yourself some fresh yeast. So if you haven't yet, like and subscribe. And if you want to see more, stay tuned. All right. See you on the next one, guys.